What's up, my pilots? Angry Pilot Joe here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. In this episode, the game's going to be even harder than usual for me. And uh, I'll explain why after this cutscene. Examine Cheerio. Did I hear a stock roar sound effect? I think it was the same one they use in Star Fox Adventures. Did anyone else hear that? It's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to An Orlando, City of the Gods. Or something like that. Oof! What if they just chucked me in from so high that I died from the fall damage? Well, that's fucking cinematic, ain't it? Cool. Best thing about this game is when you pop into places like this and you look around, it's like, ooh, look at that big ass fucking thing over there. I bet you that's just background. I can't go there. No, you can go there. Ooh, look at that big ass fucking thing on top of the mountain. No, you can go there too. Yeah, buddy. But weirdly, you can't go on this roof right here. That's out of bounds. Granted, it doesn't look very interesting. You get the point. So, uh, this episode's going to be a little harder for me than usual because I fucked up my thumb. I was working in the wood shop this morning, and I was cutting off... Uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I was narrowing a wedge with a hand uh, flush-cutting saw, and I thought I had my thumb out of the way. Turns out, I did not. And... Uh, I cut my thumb, my thumb so badly, I immediately was like, well, fuck, I have to get stitches and stuff now. And I was correct. Oh, that was a big whiff there, Chosen Undead. These guys actually look really scary, but you can just walk right in between their feet. And they, oh, I really thought that was going to kill him. I was kind of counting on it. Well, we need to level up so we can kill them in three hits. Make that fight easier. So I cut the hell out of my thumb. No, I won't post pictures. Uh, but I will show you the ridiculous claw grip that I'm doing on the controller right now uh, after this fight, which is the only way I can play because I cannot use my left thumb, which would normally be my walking around thumb. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit tough. Yeah, you, you guys think Dark Souls is too easy? I got, a, I got a new Dark Souls challenge. Forget no hit runs. I want you to take physical damage in real life and then play some Dark Souls. That'll up the difficulty. So, yeah. This will be fun. I get to fight the, the hardest boss so far. <laughs> With one thumb. <laughs> I want to run over here and visit the bonfire. So this, though, in case I do something dumb and die, I don't have to watch the cutscene again. This part of the game is a little bit trolly, so not a bad idea anyway. This character is way underleveled compared to the others. And, uh, it's just because I think, I'm pretty sure this character is 46 now. And the other two, after finishing this episode's worth of content, are, which I have already recorded, I do the characters that are not commentary first, because they sort of act like a practice run. Plus I can know what I've shown about bosses and what I haven't, so I know what to mention. Uh, they're both level 58, so 12 levels in one video. I don't know if I can get that much experience, but we'll see. I am still learning the Silver Serpent Ring. So the trick with these guys, you really don't want to fight them more than one at a time. But if you just come right to the edge of this pillar, you'll aggro the one on the right, but not the one on the left. That guy out there won't aggro until you like get right in his face, so... Just walk him away a little... Whiff! Whiff! Oh no, okay, I hit with that second one, sweet. I was almost certain that I was going to miss. So there's two, three. Ah, oh, so I'm not quite strong enough to two, three hit him with the stabs. And then once there's just one left, the room opens up a lot in terms of, <laughs> wow, in terms of fighting. All right, I'm going to sneak in between your feet. That was interesting. His swing was so wide, it actually included, like, wiping his ass.
That move is particularly bad if you're in front of them, but it's particularly good if you're behind them, because they spend so long doing it. I don't know if it's just the way the lighting is in Anna Orlando or what, but it's really obvious that one of these chests is not like the other. Oh! I love playing with different characters because I get to see the different things that bosses and enemies do depending on how you fight them. And the ninja kicks <laughs> that these guys were pulling on my ranged character. Willow, that shit was hilarious. Crystal Halberd, very nice. I'm not going to bother killing that guy because he didn't do nothing to me. But uh, if you're in the mood for grinding, this is the time to stop and do it because these big uh, sentinel guys here will give you either 1200 or 1800 if you're wearing... Or wait, is that right? 12... It's either 1500 if you don't have the Silver Serpent Ring or 1800 if you do. So, they're pretty good, and it, once he gets strong enough that you can kill him in three hits or so, which is soul level 50 or thereabouts, fewer with uh, magic, uh, that's pretty quick for almost 2,000 experience, so you can grind your character up to because whatever level you think you'll need for the upcoming fights. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier bosses are now regular ass enemies. This guy literally has the same HP as the first Bell Gargoyles. He's just hanging out up here. I can't fucking hit him because he keeps flying around. I kind of want your tail. Just for the fun of it. Where are you going? Boy, it's hard to move around with one thumb. Did I get his tail? Oh, it did. I must already have the axe because I didn't get it added to my inventory. Whoa! What was that? For free. Which is what happens if you cut the tail off and... Oh, your hitbox just saved me there, buddy. Oh, no. Okay, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Oh, I got... Oh. I got, I got killed by my own buffered input. That's something that I haven't talked about yet in this game, is that when you're... and you're in the middle of an animation, you can't... you can't cut it off by, by trying to do something else. So, like, if I do a long stab and then try to roll, I won't roll until the uh, long stab finishes. I don't know if you can hear me mashing, but basically. And then if the input is earlier enough in the animation, it just won't happen at all. Like that. Well, okay, that one did happen. But if it's late enough in the animation, it'll go off after the animation ends. Like that. And the... Uh, so what happened there was, I tried to stab him twice. I got stuck in that second stab animation, even though he'd already flown off. And uh, got myself killed. So it's important to be precise with your inputs in this game. Even uh, when it comes to just fighting dudes, because if you're just going ham on one button... Did I unequip my shield? Is that why I died? What the hell? I just noticed that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the claw grip right there. My finger definitely wandered off the thumbstick. I have no idea when I unequipped my shield. <laughs> I just noticed. That'll be interesting to see when I edit this. <laughs> How long I was running around just holding my left arm up. <laughs> Come down here, you asshole. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oof. All right, all right. You convinced me to... Whoa. Oh, I fucking hate when they do that. When the camera sweeps over like that. Boy, this is really giving me a sense of how much harder this is going to be with one thumb. <laughs> These guys are not tough enemies. Oh, I didn't have the tail axe. What the hell? Why didn't I get it the last time? That was weird. Well, we have it now. All right, now we fought him. Uh, you're not to the end there, but just at that end. You can't actually jump down to that next area. The game won't let you. Instead, we gotta get sneaky. If you look way over there, you can see a broken window. That's our path forward. I also believe there's a chest down here somewhere. I think it just has Titanite or something in it. Let's see. 
do. Yeah. Now, the chest like this. Yeah, Demon Titan Knight. Nice. Demon Titan Knight is what you use to upgrade boss weapons, so that's pretty sweet. They, it is farmable, uh, late game, but most of the upgrade stuff is farmable in the really, really late game, so it's just a matter of uh, how long you're willing to wait in order to upgrade your weapons and such. Oh my god. I just realized I'm about to do the platforming part of the game with a fucked up thumb. This is the worst. Yeah, for whatever reason, when you go through those pillars, the, the game tries to shank your camera to one side. I'm not sure that's a that's a bug or if it's just intended to like turn your camera and try and get you to walk right off. Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. I love the sweeping range on this uh, R1 attack with this thing. If, if, if you know they're behind you, you can just go like that and hit most of the, the area. Alright, we got... Some very narrow platforms. This is gonna be hell. This is already an area that people don't like because it's finicky and has really narrow platforms. This is gonna be particularly painful for me. Literally. Uh, using my hand like this is kind of cramping it up a little, but I wanted to play Dark Souls, so I'm gonna play some fucking Dark Souls. I encourage you to try this technique for yourself of holding, of holding the controller in the claw. I use this occasionally on my right hand in order to have my index finger push buttons while my thumb does movement. Good thing with these guys is that they're very bad at not falling off. We'll cut that. Smash! I think it kills some dudes that are standing down there too, which is nice. All right, let's go the long way just so his darts won't hit me so easy. You wanna come fight? Yeah, so if he's... <sighs> Dang it, he doesn't want to come fight. What an asshole. Come on. Yes, that was fancy. We're all impressed by the fact that you risked your life in order to look cool. I'm gonna fucking fall off backwards. Alright. Oh my god. Don't stagger me again, I swear to god. Chill. Just chill, dude. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I'm playing so cautiously. And he's just like, Let's go, I'm doing fucking gymnastics! What if he fell off on the way back? God, that would crack me up if he just, like, slipped after I was dead. Like, whoops! I'll get back to where I was. Won't take very long. Just not gonna make you all wait for an elevator. Yoink! See that? <laughs> Every time. Wait a second. This is my character that's good with a bow. What am I doing? Where's my longbow? I do have a longbow, right? Did I never pick up the long... Oh my god, I never picked up the longbow. Alright, shortbow works. Wanna fall off? You're gonna fall off. You try and run all, all the way over here while I'm shooting you. Right in that fucking head. Okay, he wants to fight hand to hand. Let's try out our combustion. I haven't got a chance to try this one yet. Ooh, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with the results here. It's fun. Breathing a little flame out of your hand, like poof. That's very satisfying. All right, now these guys I'm gonna snipe or try to snipe from pretty far away. I could put on the... Oh, I don't have the ring. Uh, see, why am I not looking down sights? You yeah, always have to aim up and to the left. Oh, okay, he's just going to let me shoot him until he falls off. Cool. Oh, those two missed somehow, even though I didn't move. Yeah, fuck you guys. Bro, you just tanking this? For real? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start zeroing on in your head, man. It's not gonna work out. Ooh, that one got his attention. He seems to have noticed the arrow, but doesn't know I'm here. That's kind of funny. 
Right in the asshole. Oh, that one went through him somehow. What the hell? It looks like it's going right through him. Is it going over him? Okay, that landed in front of him for sure. My cur- what the hell is happening? I really- my death perception is totally failing me here. I can't tell if I'm- it's that landed behind him because he turned around, right? Oh, okay, I got him now. Maybe he moved a little and that was why my aim was suddenly off. <laughs> he just chills and is like, nope, my orders were to stand here and guard this spot. This area is such a troll that uh, I have no, what's the word, I have no, uh, no, I feel no guilt for using a ranged weapon against a guy who wants to fight me on a fucking tightrope. I'm just going to say no thanks to that. That guy's actually standing on a platform, so we're not going to be able to knock him off. We're just going to have to wait till he dies from, uh, I guess, blood loss is most likely at this point. Dude, how many arrows are stuck in you right now? Is he healing? Just disbelief! Maybe I'm so far away that he's healing. That's a good shot, though. Gotta say. Alright, let's go say hi to him. La Claw! How much health is he gonna have lost? Is he just gonna be at full health because the game's just like, fuck you? Yeah, stay far enough back. He should cut the corner a little and just fall. Good job. <laughs> We're proud of you, buddy. <laughs> See, he deserves to be cheesed. He cheeses himself. There's statues down there. You got some, I guess those are silver knights? And I don't know who this really tall lady is. Is that to scale? Is that the lady from Resident Evil? Might be. I didn't actually point them out, but there were statues behind the sentinels we fought earlier as well. If you pay close attention, you may actually have uh, recognized the people that those are statues of. Although, you won't have seen them already on a blind playthrough. Alright, and by exiting over here, we've actually gone up a little bit since <laughs> we climbed the ladder. And now, we're up here. We're one step closer to the big... I guess it's like an abbey? I don't really know. Pull a lever! And by bringing this down, we do two things. One, we line up the pathway to the next area and piss off a gargoyle. So we're going to have to fight him now. I wonder if he's weak to fire. I'm just curious. Let's see how much damage this does. Come here. Poof. That's pretty good. There's tail off in one hit. That's impressive. Well, this is fun. All right, let's switch back to poking him. Whoa, very, very flighty, flip, flippy attack. Can I put my shield up? I don't know what I'm doing right now. There we go. Stab you in the tail hole. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Ooh, those overheads slammed. A lot of those really just ignore your shield. No, you don't. Gotcha. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, you got all the gargoyle gear, I guess. <laughs> Sweet. So we connect to the path there, and we also connect to the lower path, I believe. Yes, down there, which will take us into that room we were just walking through the rafters of, so we can fight the dudes in here. They, uh, I'm not actually going to go the full way in here, for those of you who know what's what's ahead of this. Uh, I just want to show the items that are in here and then proceed through in Orlando. Hey, guy. You missed. Always oh, fast. You gotta be careful in this room, because these guys throw uh, throwing darts that do a surprising amount of damage. And if you get three or four of them aggroed on you at once, they can just stun lock you with multiple throwing darts. So, don't do that. Yeah, keep throwing them. Nice. <laughs> he just rolled up to me and then didn't attack. I don't know about that strategy, my man. Nice. I 
poise saved me there. So I was already... Shit. <laughs> I was already in the animation for the stab. Wow. I don't want to blame that on the claw, but that was totally because of the claw. I have good news, though. Because we lowered the spinny platform in the middle, we can now just go straight there by running down the main path and down the stairway. We do, we do not have to do the climbing in the rafters thing again. But still, I'll meet you down there. Oh, the gargoyles don't respawn, by the way. Okay. Thought that was a little closer. <laughs> oh god, I'm clawing with both hands in order to dash and attack. Fuck! <laughs> Damn, y'all are serious. Alright. Right? Nope. Okay. Who's clicking the left thumbstick do? Did it do anything? Because I was doing that a lot accidentally. Alright, let's try this again. Hey boys. We're gonna play it a little bit uh a little bit slower this time. <laughs> try and aggro them around pillars where we can actually take a little cover. Yep, I need the upswing would catch that one. Yeah, they just go ham with the throwing knives if they get the chance. Oh come here. Come here. I wanna stab you in the in the back. Come on. Come on. Got him! Just run him through. Bru bru brutiful? Brutiful. Something that is brutal and beautiful. Brutiful. Alright, somebody's aggro. I saw someone throw a knife at me. Come over here, you loser. Fight me, IRL! I just rolled right into that one, buddy. Oh, come on. I put my shield down quick enough. That should have been a backstab. Oh, well. Some of them the game will give you, some of them we won't. Is there a third one around my left? I don't think so. You guys are very aggressive. Ooh, good dodge, boys. Look at him go. So I learned recently, if you do the uh, step back and then R1, you'll do your forward running attack. Isn't that cool? Didn't know that. Just figured that out accidentally while I was fooling around on my way back to one of these areas. Let's pick up whatever this guy had. Great magic weapon, that's a good one. That's really good for our uh, sorcerer. I think she picked it up. I think everybody came down here. Boy, you really like knocking my shield down, huh? Oh! And over here, we have the black iron set. This, there's more? Oh, and this, the great sword and the, the shield, yeah. But the black iron set, that, that one's pretty cool. It gives you, um, what's the world? What's the word? It has, like, the best fire resistance, I believe. Where is it? I'm not looking for the armor, I know it's in the other tab. I wanted to see if I picked up, is it a key? Oh, yeah, look at this. Strange girl in a strange dress. There was once an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But we actually found that in our cell back in uh, Stray, Stray Ruins now. In the Northern Undead Asylum, when we returned, that doll was in our cell. Oh, all right. Oh, I see. You think Estes will help you? I guess that means these guys are undead. Since he drinks Estus. I guess everybody here is undead. Kind of weird when you think about it. Was this place always a realm of undead? Like... Back when it was... Back when there were people here? Because this place is kind of... I mean, you, might, you might have guessed from the fact that it's a giant fucking city and there's nobody around except for those uh, white cloaked dudes with the scimitars. That, uh, yeah, maybe this place is uh, kind of like a ruin at this point. Although, it's still in good shape, it's just abandoned. Alright, yeah, so the elevator comes down there, and you can just run right across the platform to go this away for everyone's favorite part of the game. These levers that I'm running past will just raise the platform to wherever you're at so that you can get onto that center spinny one, but they don't do anything when it's already set there, so no need to check them. Boy, this is a weird grip. Keep readjusting. Alright, not interested in fighting you. 
Very nice. Slip right off of him. Come out over here. There's a door, but don't bother. They're locked. And I think if we're aggressive enough. Oh! Oh! These guys, will These guys love to dodge by hopping backwards, too, which is really funny for enemies that post up on the sides of uh, castles. <laughs> See? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> and even though they can fly, they just... Once they fall off, they're like, oh, alright, you got me. I'll, I'll just fall to my doom. And there he goes. It's pretty rare to actually, for me to actually kill one of those with damage and not just have them jump off like a dummy. There's two of them down here in this little space, so we have to be... How did I just take damage? Did I just take fall damage from a ramp? Are you serious? Yeah, okay. So if we can take out one... Oh my god. Alright, well, it started. It's begun. If we can take out one before his buddy decides to join, that would be ideal. Oh! Big poke. All right, fucking stop it. Oh my god. So many heavy attacks. He's doing damage through the shield. He must... I think he's got... I think they have lightning on their weapon. But yeah, look at these giant fucking arrows that are coming in. That's from those two boys up there. Good news is, if you just sprint your way up this tower, right here, you should be fine. And then you can come around to the right side. Just wait for a gap. Basically, as soon as an arrow hits, you can go. Turn the corner, and don't start sprinting until you're on this wider part again. Because you do not want to screw it up. Now we have to time this. So if he fires an arrow out, it's going to roll to go under it. And then once we get close enough to him, he should just walk right off the edge. Good job. And we move on. See? This part's not that hard. Go down here. And... Go through the fog wall. And I believe this first door on the left will hold a special secret. <gasps> it's Solaire! Our friend! Hey, buddy. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. No doubt, buddy. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Winslow is going to get your help for this boss fight. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. Tee -hee. Oh, no, Dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sit at this bonfire. I think I don't want to bother kindling this one. I don't think I do. Hopefully, we won't be. Oh no, we might spawn here a few times. <laughs> I'm gonna kindle it. I'm gonna need one more humanity. You know what? Why not? We'll get, we'll go up to, to 15 on this bonfire. Solaire's chilling here. We'll give him a little a little extra boost. Not really, but in my head can. I feel like it makes him happy when we kindle the fire he's chilling at. I mean, it seems like it should, right? He's got to get more Estus from this too, right? Because we're kindling the flame for everybody. I, I would I would think. Boom. Alright. And we move on. Well, I can unequip my short bow since I'm not... Menuing is hard. What the fuck? What button am I hitting? Are you? Can I unequip my short bow since uh, we'll be using it right now? And it does make me heavier. And here you will find... Silver Knight. These guys are cool. I would love to show you how parrying them works, but <laughs> I can't parry with the claw. Literally, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, can I get you through your shield? That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be able to hold the controller well enough to do it. It's just not happening. But he is guarding three sunlight medals, which makes me wonder where he got them, since the only place we get them is from... Uh, Solaire, or from Night Law Trek. So they're coming from somewhere. Somebody's handing out sunlight medals. There's people other than those two have them. Anybody? <sighs> He's even giving me, this, giving me the slow and easy to parry attacks. The other problem with these guys, in terms of them not being super dangerous like they're supposed to be, is that they're just really vulnerable to backstabbing. 
they don't pivot around as quickly as they should. But don't be overly aggressive in trying to get backstabs on them, because they can uh, change up their animations on you and do an extra swing that you might not be expecting in their multi-swing attack. It goes anywhere from 1 to 3 when they do their sweeping attacks like this. And back here, you might notice that this fireplace doesn't have a fire grate in it. And then if we go out here down to the end of the hall, there's a window into a dark room with like a little door on the side. What could that be? This is a secret I found on my first playthrough. I was like, hey, hang on. <laughs> Boom. And then, wah, wah. It's really dark down here. We have light. No, we still don't have light. Not on this character, at least. We could pull out our lantern if we wanted, but it's not that dark. And we got chests, baby. These four chests, all told, are going to hold all of Havel's gear, which is supremely heavy, but quite good defensive armor, along with his great shield and his weapon of choice, which is the Dragon Tooth. It is an enormous club. It's a two-handed weapon, if I do say so myself. Although I suppose it's, you're never required to wield uh, any melee weapon with two hands. Let's see if I can get him caught up on a pole. There we go. Clank. We traded blows there, I suppose. This occult club is actually pretty nice. Uh, I ended up using it on the next boss with Winslow. Our heavy armor knight character who uses strength weapons. Just because uh, it is a fairly decent scaling. Uh, it scales with your faith and does occult damage, which is like a variant of divine damage. And the next boss, uh, they're both weak to it. One more than the other, I believe. Okay, so check this shit out. That area down there? Yeah, you can totally just jump this railing and go there. Do a little run up the stairs, do a little run and jump, boom, boom. Bob's your uncle. But I'd like to actually show you the rest of this area because there's some cool stuff in here. If we come in here, we can get an up-down view of this room that is just full of dragon heads. Like someone's been collecting and mounting the, the hides. And then in here, we've got a silver knight on a tiny little uh, upper balcony wielding a halberd. I don't know why this guy thinks he's uh, in a good position. Need room to move that thing around, man. Oh, okay, whoa. Oh, no. There we go. That was close. And down there we can see a Titanite demon. So that's fun. We'll get to fight him later. What do you got? Ooh, soul of a hero. Sweet. I, use all, I can use all the soul items I could get because I'm going to need them later on. This character, I'm, I'm saving all of my soul items because uh, I'm going to use them all at once later on for a special purpose that will become clear when the time comes. But for now, just know that one of the reasons that this character is not as higher level as the other two is because I'm not eating those things. I also think Winslow got a little extra experience from uh, fighting a few uh, areas more than once just because he uh, kept dying. In the attempt. Yeah, all these chests that are just sitting out in the open in, in like foyers. It's like no one leaves a chest just like out by the stairs. What do you think this is, dude? Get out of here. Oh wow, I'm amazed that that counted as a hit. Very nice. Those guys have wide spindly legs, so it's real easy to just miss with uh, stabbing attacks. It's a game called thrusting attacks, by the way. This guy's a troll. Because he wants to shoot me with a with a bow in a friggin' hallway. Come on. Come in here and fight me. Mano a mano. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get the parry. Oh, not the not with the shield bash. Alright. He can do two stabs there too, by the way. Oh, that was late. Sweet! Alright, there's your parry. <laughs> For <laughs> with the claw grip. I had to use I had to hold the base of the controller with nothing but my pinky so that I could use my index finger on the thumbstick, my middle finger on the shield bumper, and my um, ring finger on the trigger. Really figure that one out. So this place is so cool. It's full of like Renaissance style paintings. I have to wonder if these are... Well, 
hello. I was going to say, I wonder if these are the developers, but I don't think so. Anytime I see paintings in a game, uh, or any kind of, like, picture of some... Hello. Which has avoided my shield, I guess. Uh, anytime I see pictures of people in a game, I... Well, nowadays I think, oh, it must be the Kickstarter backers. <laughs> but for games like this, I think, oh, maybe it's the development team. Especially if it's a bunch of white dudes. It's an easy way to tell. All right, so that room has an ups, uh, upgoing staircase. Is this one locked? I don't remember. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. So we've reached the top of uh, this set of stairs, which is weird because there seems to be another set of stairs spiraling around, like, alongside this one. You can see there's two of them. So that's weird. If we go through here, through... I don't even know what you would call this little room here. It's like not first or anything, it's just sort of like access to the top of the tower. It's probably on the blueprints as tower access. And now we're up here on the roof. That was so early. Stop shield bashing me. That was really late. Stop shield bashing me. What a ding hole. Yeah, that's right, I'm drinking Estes. Can't shield bash this. Oh, I thought he was going for his twofer. Oh, I look like an idiot. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm done trying to parry. <laughs> it's just too hard to parry while holding the controller like this. These guys are really fun to parry, though. And if you're thinking that you need to get better at parrying, these are great enemies to practice on. Just because they're kind of hard. And you need to be able to parry in situations where you're like, Oh fuck, I can't get hit. I cannot fuck this up. Otherwise, it's not real training, is it? Gotta take those train wheels off, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's gonna happen? That's right. Getting poked in the back and then stabbed. Oh, look at you! You learn how to shield when you get up! That's very nice! Did not mean to pull out my flame. Cool. We can go down that stairway if we want. It's the center stairway in the middle of the uh, building. But. This one's, uh, this one's more fun. We'll go here first. Oh, hello! Oh, your armor looks gold in the sunlight. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever can be done. Good old Zygmiter of Katarina. Our beautiful Onion Knight. I love how his armor looks like the belt is, like, holding in the gut of the armor. <laughs> it's like, what a hilarious touch. Also, what a terrible design for armor. It would capture blades rather than, than deflect them. It's the same reason that you don't actually put boobs into chest plates. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? No. Oh, don't be ashamed. It is the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. No. You want to actually help me fight? You just... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, if you open this door, you'll see what he's talking about. There's a sword there. There's a guy over there, and there's a guy over there. Well, if you just walk in and walk out, you should just aggro this first guy. Uh, believe me, don't fight these guys three at a time. Not a good, not a good plan. All right, let's don't, don't hit Sigmire now. Come on, be nice. Stay focused on me now. They won't actually ag aggro on the NPCs, but I'm not even sure if you can hit him when he's not trying to, to be honest. But I'd rather not find out <laughs> in the Let's Play, you know? Boom. You gotta time that stab attack so that it hits them after they get up, but before they start using their shield. One of these guys should aggro a little further, a little sooner than the other, if we're lucky. Yeah, there we go. We just lead him back over here. You can fight him in that room too if you just stay on this half of the room. You coming, buddy? Oh, I think he got confused by the door. That's embarrassing. I think that they would teach you how to use doors in night school. Oh my god, this do, do chivalrous people go to night school to learn how to protect the princess? I don't know. That was pretty weak, I gotta admit. Now don't accidentally stab Siegmeier. Get away from him! Come here! Thank you. Alright, and now we can fight the third one in the room. After angering him by destroying the furniture. Ugh! Oh. I can't believe I moved my other finger over for a parry and then didn't get the parry because I was, wasn't standing there a distance away. 
that's bungus. Oh, that was early. Okay. Get out of here. Chests and bedrooms are always safe. Look at this big boy! The little guy next to him, like, whoa. That's a big boy. <laughs> I just love the framing of that. It's like, oh, wow. Ah, uh, it looks like Anne Orlando. Is it? Or is it the castle? Or the... No, that's in Orlando. It's got to be. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risks. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Well, that's Anne Orlando for sure. Is this the... Nah, it isn't. That's, that's gotta be it too. Okay. Who's over here? Oh, I think that's Sen's Fortress. See the big three gates in the front? Yeah. And we got... Oh, I know where that is. That's down in the uh, in the Deep Root Basin. There's a there's a kitty cat in there. Anyway, if we open this door, we find... <gasps> it's the one across the hall from the other bedroom where we went up. So these two connect to each other. That's cool. Anyway, we need to go back up to the roof if we want to find our way out to the rest of the... Uh, the area here because it is this fella who's guarding you know, much higher everything goes still guarding the central stair so this is the other staircase which doesn't doesn't connect with the uh see there's the third floor this staircase doesn't stop there this one goes all the way down to the second floor and this is the intended way to get to this area which you can easily jump to from right up there in here we'll find a titanite demon and in here We'll find the bottom part of the dragon head room. This guy aggroes really early, by the way. So, if you don't like fighting on stairs, you can just aggro him and then run out back in the hall. I'm not too worried. Stop with the friggin... Oh, I'm so mad. Get out of here, dude. I think I should be able to shield bash his shield bash and, like, parry it that way or something. Oh, he just wasn't blocking. Right. Oof. Get out of here. Maybe drink assets on the staircase. And when we open this door, we now have a short way to go from the first floor to the exit to this area, which is right there on the second floor. Gotta love a good shortcut. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it, give me my parries. Ugh. I hate when I get the timing right and then I don't get the repost. It's like, I don't know, did I wait too long? Did I not wait long enough? Was I not standing close enough? So frustrating. Let's gonna take it out on this guy. Do get good at parrying at some point. You can't use it very much on bosses, except for the very last one. And on that boss, it's pretty much the best way to fight him. It's really the best. It's really the only non-cheese way to fight him. Also, we got the silver armor set there if we want to look like the guys we've been killing for the past 30 minutes. Uh, oh, okay. T that Titanite Demon. That's who's left. I was just looking around like, wait. I know there was one room I didn't do. But we'll kill the Titanite Demon then and go back to the bonfire. Because from there, we'll have cleared this whole area and we can proceed out that way to the next area. Hey, guy. How strong are you? Are you much stronger than me? I honestly don't know. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. Is he weaker to fire? Uh, maybe. Let me, let me do a little fireball, see how that goes. Oh, yeah, I missed. I'm kind of heading towards the door here. <laughs> Whoa! Sir! Calm down, sir. Ow. <laughs> All right. We'll come back for you. Where's the door? Just gonna kind of wander around. 
Where the fuck is the door? Oh, it's over there. Cool. Hey, I'm stuck in a pillar. Bye. He can clip you in the hall. Be careful. He won't go for it unless you've already been fighting him, but just in a general sense. Uh, don't want to get... Don't want to get sort of cheated by getting poked through a wall. That's never a satisfying way to lose. You don't feel like you learned anything. It just feels cheesy. But hey, cheese is part of the game, right? All right, let's level up. Good lord, this character only has 15 endurance. That's really been hurting <laughs> for so long. But I feel like I have to take vitality here just so that I can hopefully not die in one hit to the next boss. We shall see. I'm not, I don't really know if I want to even bother fighting the Titanite Demon. Y'all have seen that fight before, and I don't particularly want his Titanite slab, or his uh, Demon Titanite. So, I'm not super motivated to go through a slugfest with him. I think instead I'm going to move on to the next area. So I could go in that room and use the shortcut, but I have to fight two more knights. Uh, instead, I'm just going to show you how to jump off of this one. Which is pretty easy. Doesn't even take any fall damage. And out we go. That's all you have to do to clear that area. You don't have to fight anybody but that first knight. Then when we come out here, look at him. He's like, yeah, you want to go? Hey, you want to go? And down here, big sentinels. Big sentinels. And if we go down to that lever down there, it'll open the front door to the castle and give us a shortcut back in here so that if we uh, somehow get yeeted out the front door, we won't have to go through the whole dodging the archers on the parapets thing again. It's not that big of a uh, concern, honestly. And we don't even need to open that door. Look, so there's summon signs down there. That's very tempting. <laughs> I'm not going to use Solaire on this character. I used his help on uh, Winslow, so you'll get to see him there. I could not beat this next boss without Solaire on Winslow. He was just too slow and didn't do enough damage. Well, hello. Who are you? Forge your weapons. Look, another scary guy who's really just trying to do, you know, do stuff. He can make lightning weapons for you, which is cool. And uh, do we have anything to reinforce our sword some more? Yes, please. Look at all these large shards. Okay, and then I think... Yeah, I don't want it to be a lightning sword, so that's not... I don't want a great sword of, Art of Artorias either. These are the weapons that he can make out of boss souls. Don't want to turn it down either. Um, Alright, so I guess I need the very large ember to give to Andre in order to make my weapon any better from, from that. Good to know. Oh yeah, I went with a nice mix of, of armor so that I can still get a me medium roll, but wear slightly better stuff. So, let's just do that. Upgrade the mask. Upgrade the leggings. And this guy sells, by the way, uh, large shards, green shards, and twinkling titanite. So if you're needing any of that stuff, get grinding, buddy, because it's time. He also sells a bunch of really cool arrows like lightning arrows, dragon slayer arrows, which you can only fire with a special bow, and the giant set of armor, which is, again, extremely protective, but very, very heavy. Tis no good, but forge very good. I have any time. Thanks, buddy. Come at soon. And if we come around behind him here, he has a chest just chilling in the corner with the hawk ring. Now this is kind of interesting. Let's not aggro that guy over there while I look at my inventory, huh? What does the hawk ring do? One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Quinn. This belonged to Hawkeye Go, who led the great archers. Boosts bow range so the arrows fly like they were shot from Go's great bow, which took down high-flying dragons. Yes, very fancy. Oh! I don't know why I run into the enemies when they're disappearing. I feel like it makes them drop an item or something. It's my brain being weird. Go on, jump backwards. Yeah, you want to. Oh! I'm coming at you! Are you scared? Ah! Right. <laughs> I guess I'll just knock him off. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, before I go down there and do something silly, let's go ahead and open this little gate. Again, can't open that from the other side. Don't ask me why you can't. The Chosen Undead is very serious about following rules. 
Alright, watch out for this guy. Poke! Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Did his backwards jump, though. And you're gonna fall. Cool. See what I mean about the number of guys of this enemy type that I've killed by actually fighting versus the number I've killed by having them jump backwards off of the railing? <laughs> there he goes! Uh, and they're all posted up so that they do that, too. They're all at the edge when you fight them. It's so dumb. It's so funny. Anyway, now that this is open, we can go back down the steps and across over to where the other bonfire was if we want. Hey, fuck off, dude. Uh, but we don't want. So we're gonna go back inside. Oh, go. Mm -hmm. oh, you're not go. You're, you're, this guy's just called the Giant Blacksmith. I don't know if he has a proper name, but we'll go ahead and repair our weapon. Incidentally, when you, uh... Does our shield need repair? Yeah. When you upgrade an item, it automatically repairs it to full durability as well, so... Let's keep that in mind. Saves you from having to spend that little bit of souls to repair your stuff. It's one of the reasons that people often don't even realize that durability is a thing, just because you switch armor and weapons often enough, and then the ones that you do end up keeping, you probably are going to upgrade, and every time you upgrade them, like they get a free repair just thrown in on top. It's like a BOGO deal. You all know about BOGO? B-O-G-O? Buy one, get one? These two guys both aggro really early, so if you want to... What? <laughs> I feel so dumb. We can fight these guys, uh, but oh, they suck. They really suck. I tried fighting them with Winslow and had to give up because they can heal themselves. And when they use their healing magic, they fully heal. And Winslow was not fast enough to like DPS them out. So for him, it was just a slugfest or nothing. And in a slugfest, they just take a second to heal. All right. Time for a boss. Which one am I going to go for first? I guess it doesn't matter. Wish me luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ornstein and Smo. This is sort of the point in the game where we find out how serious you are about getting good at Dark Souls. So, whoa! I prefer to fight, to target Ornstein. Orn I always call him Ornstein, but it's clearly spelled Ornstein, and the name is based on Leo Stein, a, a real person whose name was pronounced Ornstein. So, there's really no debate as to how it should be pronounced. It's just that everyone seems to say, say it wrong in their own dumb way. Really wanted to roll there. Oof. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled there. I rolled. That hammer is all one big hitbox. Alright, that's fine. This is the part where I start cutting away and just uh, eventually show you all the successful attempt. Alright. Post commentary poncho here. It's the next day. It actually only took me three tries to beat uh, Ornstein and Smo with one thumb, which was uh, uh, harder than I thought it would be, gotta be honest. But this is just a really fun fight and it has really good music, so I don't mind spending a while here. So the general strategy for this fight is that it's got two phases. Once you kill one of the two, you move on to the second phase, and whoever is still around becomes more powerful for the second phase. Sort of keep the balance there. So first there's two little ones, and then at the second phase there's one big one. So depending on which one you kill first, the second phase is very different. Uh, generally, if you don't, if you're not sure how, uh, how you're going to handle this, or if it's giving you problems, I recommend killing Ornstein first. Just because Smo doesn't get that much more powerful during the second phase. Whereas Ornstein gets a really big buff. So if you're trying to kill Ornstein first, your general strategy should just be to try and keep your distance from 
the both of them, if possible. Because Ornstein is much more maneuverable than Smo. They, their AI works together pretty well, but they do get... I don't know where he's going right now. He's running off to the fog gate. But they do get separated sometimes. Uh, and generally, it's because Ornstein is more aggressive and moves in to fight you more quickly than Smo. And that can give you enough separation between the two for you to get in uh, some hits on Ornstein without having to worry about Smo's giant hitbox of a hammer. Also, this cutscene almost looks like it's censored because he happened to die right next to some debris <laughs> that like hid, hid him being squished. Anyway, yeah, Smo's a great friend. He immediately kills Ornstein, absorbs his power of lightning, and uh, says, all right, let's go on to phase two, boys. What a handsome man. Big ass hammer. So the most dangerous attack from Smo is that one he just did, where he charges in and sort of runs the, the hammer in front of him like he's just like, I don't know, like he's tilling a field or like tearing up the earth. I'm not sure, but that's the one where you got to watch out. What you want to do is let him get close enough to you that it, that it triggers the animation and then roll backwards out of the way. Yes, he actually stopped moving forward for the swing. Alternatively, if you're as close as I was there, you can try and get around behind him because the swing doesn't loop all the way around like some of his big swings do. But a lot of his other swings, you're going to find it very difficult to dodge sideways because the horizontal ones, he basically makes up 360 around himself with the, the hitbox. See that? So the only way to get out of those is to, to be farther away. You can't uh, get behind him. Of course, the overhead swings, which is what he does anytime he jumps up like that or when he's uh, running forward towards you, those are much easier to dodge to the side. So you have to kind of recognize what attack he's doing and figure out what you need to do to dodge. Go sideways, go backward, come in close and dodge away. Those are your three options, really. And then when he does this big lightning stomp attack, that's the power he gets from uh, Ornstein uh, after the second phase begins. That one, you just have to be farther away. Uh, it's really hard to get out of that range with a slow character, though. So, for example, Winslow with his fat roll just could not roll away fast enough to avoid that. And so it's just, you have to find another way to, to deal with that particular attack. And uh, for Winslow, it was kill Smo first, <laughs> so you don't have to, to face that attack. But in general, Smo isn't at that much stronger during his second phase uh, compared to the first. I think he gets a little bigger, I'm not really sure. But yeah, anytime that he's moving around, just assume that that entire hammer is a hitbox. Because most of the time it is. And the only time his body is a hitbox is when he's doing this attack, where he charges forward like that. If you're in front of him, uh, even his belly will knock you out. But pretty much, if you go after Ornstein first and are able to move in and out quickly from Smo's range, you should find that the fight's not as hard as it seems at first. It's not easy. It still takes some, uh, a <laughs> little bit of confidence. And it really helps to have a high DPS character for this, just because you can take the most advantage of those few opportunities you get to dish that damage. All right, moving on to Winslow. So Winslow, I tried and failed to fight Ornstein and Smo, I think about a dozen times before I said, all right, this is just ridiculous because... I've beaten this boss before, and on my second playthrough, I beat him on the first try. So I'm fully confident that I like know what the boss's attacks look like and the strat. But killing Ornstein first, I could not beat Smo with uh, Winslow, this character. With the fat rolling and the slow movement, just could not get out of the way of that lightning uh, butt stomp attack. And so I eventually decided, you know what, forget it. Uh, I'm going to kill Ornstein first, or I'm going to kill... Sorry, Smo first. And uh, got I got gotten tired of it enough that I was like, you know what, I'm even going to bring Solaire in here. Let's have some fun. And it's actually pretty interesting trying to get Solaire into this room. You, you kind of have two options. You can either do what I did and just hope that Solaire figures it out and runs away from the Sentinels, which he will do eventually. I can't even afford to look back at the door here because I'll get killed. But oh, there he was. He did make it into the room. Uh, or you can take care of those sentinels first and then summon Solaire, and that'll help. So, Solaire actually has really good DPS, and he has good AI for this fight. 
So you can see all the damage that was done to Smo up to that point was all Solaire. Very cool. So my strategy for this was just, I'm just going to pretend that I'm the summon. I'm going to distract Ornstein and let Solaire fight Smo. And then as soon as Smo got down to about a third or half health, I abandoned Ornstein and ran over to help Solaire knock the last bit of HP off of Smo. And that worked out pretty well, actually. I found that if I tried to take out either of the two with Winslow, Solaire's DPS was so much higher that he would kill whoever he was fighting before I would kill whoever I was fighting. So eventually I said, all right, you know what? I'll let, I'll let Solaire take the lead. I'm going to just distract one and then help him finish off the second. And then uh, you may have also noticed I'm using that occult club you find down in the, the basement because Ornstein is actually weak to that. Unfortunately, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Uh, and the other thing is the club's heavy attack only has... Oh yeah, anytime he throws you down, do not try and drink an Estus right away because he has this attack where he just sort of like skips forward and pokes you. It's a really fast attack. It doesn't do much damage, but he can get in there before you're able to heal. So don't try and just chug Estus while fighting, a, I guess they call him Super Whoever once they're big. So in this case, Super Ornstein. But he, he has that really quick little poke attack that he can do when he sees that you're going for an Estus. So you need to make sure that he's in another animation or he's farther away from you before you try and drink. Yeah, see that jumping attack I'm doing? That is not, like, the leaping charge attack with this weapon. That's the only R2 <laughs> for the arc for the Occult Club. It's a leaping smack attack, and it has kind of a weird hitbox, and it requires you to leap forward before you do it. And so you can't do it when you're really close, because on a big boss like this, you'll just go right past them in between their feet. Let's see if Ornstein looks for that quick poke again. No, he didn't. Okay. Now this fight is not too bad when you have Solaire helping you uh, distract him, but in general I would recommend not <laughs> going for Super Ornstein. The other reason that you might, and the reason I wanted to do it in this order for this character, is because if you kill, whichever boss you kill second will give you their soul, and you get access to their armor as well. And I think Ornstein's armor is cooler. I'm trying, I'm trying to go in here and save Solaire, and you can see the hitbox on this. <laughs> Whoops, he slipped out from underneath me. Here's another one. Whoops, I was too close, so I just jumped away from him. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here like, I'll save you, Solaire, and I'm just whiffing. But you also get the uh, Leo ring if you kill Super Ornstein, which is a pretty cool weapon for if you're using spears. And now, on to Willow. This has got to be the easiest way to do this fight. Because, and Ornstein, I don't know if he knows right away that you brought in a magic character, but he has a few different openings he can do when you first come in the room. And the one I've seen the most is he just flies over the whole room towards you and immediately engages. I walked in here with the catalyst in my right hand, and the first thing he did was fire two lightning bolts from across the room. I don't know if the AI is actually smart enough to say, like, what strategies they should take based on what you have equipped but I'd never seen him start the fight with two lightning bolts, and that was probably my 25th time or so through. So, who knows. There's the move that he does when he can sweep across the entire room and catch up to you. So you might notice, uh, yeah, with high magic damage, you basically just have to kite them, and because you don't need Ornstein and Smo to separate in order to deal the damage, it's not that hard to put the, the beat down on uh, the two of them. We got really close here because he didn't hit that rising attack. I was in my iframes uh, from getting up, but I managed to dodge the fight there. Also, really just comfortable with how long it takes for the cutscene to start since I was like, I can heal before smoke gets over here. <laughs> this character's got a fast roll, so we're going to have no trouble staying out of the way of, uh, of Smo. We're going to play this cautiously and just generally try and stay as far away from him as possible. Because he does not dodge the lightning or the soul arrows in the way that Ornstein did. So, once we get enough distance to him, we can basically just fire and f get a free hit any time that we uh, let, let loose. The one difficulty is, his hitbox on that hammer also acts like a shield. So sometimes, your, your attack will just randomly get blocked by him turning or doing an animation where his hammer 
right there is in front of him and essentially just totally blocks you. And in this case, I've I actually managed to get him kind of confused by putting a pillar in between us, and he was really struggling to <laughs> figure out how to walk around that. But in the end, he did not put up that much of a fight. Oh, lost my lock on it at the worst possible moment. Getting close, dodge away. Gotta be confident. Right in the belly. All right, back to live commentary with Pilot. Yeah, you better back away slowly. He's just like, <laughs> like backing away from a leopard. Like, don't break eye contact. It'll fucking kill you. All right, so we have our choice of little elevator and big elevator. Because I guess when your bosses are two different size, you got to have two different size elevators. Check this out. There's a big old statue of a guy with a beard and a gigantic sword. And there's another big old statue of that lady that we saw before. Well, we saw a statue of. And then there's a blank pillar. Kind of weird, right? You think like, oh, did they plan on putting another statue there? Did they used to have a statue there and then they got rid of it? Because people complained it was too ugly? It's possible. And up here above the boss, we got ourselves the most well-earned bonfire of the game. I'm not even going to spend all my souls yet. I will sit down for a moment, though, before we head into the next room. Whoa. It's you. Thou hast journeyed far, and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. Wow. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day father his form did obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. By the power of the Lord Vessel, you may now warp between bonfires. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I just... This is amazing. I, I never thought that I would ever meet someone who was, like, going to give me a purpose again after all these years. Whoops! Thou that tarnisheth the godmother's image, I am Gwendolyn. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. Oh shit. Alright. And now Anor Orlando is dark. Bonfires are still lit though, so nothing too scary there. Let's go ahead and level up. We can get our decks up to 40. Which is about as high as I'm going to take it for this character, so... It's nice just to have it done. Gwendolyn. Oh, I... What a fool. No, oh, I... I... That's fine. Well, I think next episode... We're going to have to do a little backtracking. Because now that we have the Lord Vessel... I guess I don't even need to come down here. Now that we have the Lord Vessel, we can warp! Are you ready to warp? And that means we can go straight back to Firelink Shrine from here. This is kind of where they intend you to just be like, oh, I can leave, thanks. Let's go to the Sunlight Altar. That is the bonfire behind the Hellkite Wyvern guarding the bridge in Undead Burg.
pretty cool. I believe, yeah, check it out. If we come out here, a friend is here. Oh, there goes the dragon. Here's a screenshot for you. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith, or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughing stock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> Don't believe what they tell you, Solaire. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. <laughs> While he's here, if your faith stat is 25, or if you've helped, I believe, about five people beat bosses as a phantom that's been summoned, uh, he'll let you join his covenant, which is like the Sunlight Warriors. That's pretty cool. We're going to join that covenant. Uh, well, that's one of several covenants that we can join uh, <laughs> with our faith character. So, uh, yeah, I uh, kind of pissed off uh, Gwendolyn, who was mad that I destroyed what apparently was an image of Guinevere, just an illusion. I knew that Big Titty Goth Girlfriend was just a myth. So next episode, we are going to go down into the Tomb of the Giants, just, well, down to the catacombs, actually, just far enough to find a ring that we missed while we were there the first time. Then we're going to come back up, return to Anor Orlando. And, uh, fight the guy who, uh, turned out the lights. And then we'll enter the other area of Anor Londo, one of my favorite areas in the game. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and here's the cutscene of, of talking more to, uh, Guinevere with someone that doesn't shoot her in the face with an arrow. Hereafter I, Guinevere, shall serve it as thine guardian. If thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Since the day far once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art, O chosen undead, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, a grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Oh, hello there. I'm glad to see you alive. You have done well. Indeed you have. You've a strong arm, strong faith, and most importantly, a strong heart. I am in awe, really. Yes, yes. What do you think? Why not join me as a warrior of the sun, righteous knights, guardians of all that is good, in the name of the Lord of Sunlight? Only if it would please you, of course. Well? Oh, magnificent. I knew you would fancy it. Then join the covenant. Here, stay still for a moment. And there we are. Now, just say a prayer at the altar of sunlight, right there. Then you shall know the brilliance of our sun.
hello there. Exhilarating, is it not? The power of the sun. I am blessed to have found such a brave companion. 